What's up my doers and duets? Welcome to another episode of Sports Eye. In today's episode, things get a lot more intense as we get into the next section of the intensification phase. I And we are live in the gym now. It's time for me to actually go start on an upper body workout. Now that that is intensity is picking up, it's the intensification phase. I'll put it in the description below so that you can follow along for the next month because this is gonna be exciting. If you're new to the Take and Fly series and sports side, go ahead and subscribe because it's a lot of exciting things coming right up. All right, so the first exercise that I'm gonna be doing is gonna be the bench press. I could eventually, if you look in the program that I put in the description below, you can actually see that I'm also gonna be doing some military presses. Now, granted, the amount of presses that I'm gonna be doing is a lot today, but I'm separating it by also doing bent over rows. So all of this is just working on the upper body because even though we're working on our vertical jump, it's still important that we work on a strong upper body so that every time, so that when we're jumping, the entire fluid motion is one unit and we all jump up straight up and that we can able to duck. So I don't know why I'm talking so much. Let's just get to it. Let's set up this bench. All right, so now that we're over at the bench press, usually every time that I do an upper body workout, I always have to make sure that I do my active dynamic warm up, especially warming up my shoulders. So I do T raises, V raises, and scap push up. Uh, the reason why I do this is because you're gonna be taking a lot of pressure on your shoulders, so you wanna make sure that your shoulders are nice and loose so you gotta have good shoulder help. Now, I'm doing 225 because I ramped up the weight. So usually when I'm doing a bench press, I always start out by just having the bar or just having 135 and I rep out about 10 and then I go up to 185 and I rep out about five or six when you're doing a bench press you want to have five points of contact you want both your feet on the ground you want your butt making contact with the bench you want to arch your back a little bit sticking your chest out and then you want the back per back to be making contact with uh, the bench this is going to make you a lot more rigid it's going to allow you to be able to push it all the way through now while you may be arched you may feel like you're not uh, you need to press the weight closer towards your face but what you're actually doing is if you're arch and you just push it towards your feet it's gonna be a bar path and it's gonna stay in the straight line so without further ado it's time for me to continue on my 225 let's go for four to eight reps and this is 80% of my one rep max here we go So there, when I got to my sixth rep, I felt like I only had maybe two reps left in me, or maybe one left uh, in me, and that's what I want you to aim for if you're looking at the document in the description below. So the section that I have where it says RPE, so that's the rate of perceived exertion. So that's how hard it should feel. So now I got two more sets to go, and then I'll catch y'all as I get to the opposite muscles.
All right, so as you can tell, that workout is intense and it's only gonna be that same way the rest of this series. And so if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. This Taken Flight series is gonna be really interesting. And if you wanna follow along on my program that I wrote for myself along this series so that you can pay attention, feel free to check it out in the description below. And if you have any questions about that program or you need help with coming up with a program for yourself that's customized for you, also shoot me an email at shedmyfitness at gmail.com. All right, so now I'm wiped. The sun's coming down. It's time for me to get to Din Din, but I'll catch y'all next time. Thanks for checking me out.